Hey there. Welcome to the Smud 10 to 15-ish minute yoga warm-up. My name is Bennett. For those of us who have not yet had the pleasure, uh, I teach yoga for savvy health and wellness, uh, handling the fitness center, health and wellness stuff at Smud campuses. So we're going to start in a seat. This may mean on a prop. I have blocks here. If you don't have blocks, pillows are fine. A uh, stack of books, you can be on your shins and knees or cross-legged, whatever is going to be best for you. Start by sitting up tall, relax your shoulders down, slight tuck in your chin, just get that length all the way through the crown of your head. And you begin to come into your breath and just begin by explaining that I think for any movement modality, whether it's yoga or running or weightlifting or swimming or whatever it is that you do for your exercise, um, it's really important to have a strong base of, of a warm-up. So I'll go through something that I use in my own practice and for the practices that I lead in studio and at the corporate campuses. I'm going to start with your hands. Reach your hands out. Long in front, spread your fingers out as wide as you can. You get really wide there, actively drawing open each fingertip away from the palm. And then do just the opposite. Squeeze your fingers in, make a really tight fist, just as tight as you can. And take a few rounds just like that. Inhale to open up. And you exhale, squeeze in, make those fists. Just a couple more, moving like that. Interlace your fingers, start to roll your wrists, a little figure eight motion. And then interlace the other way and take a little movement this way. Nice. Give each hand a shake, let the wrists be loose, fingertips go everywhere. And again, arms out long in front. This time, palms face up, fingertips reach out. Bend your elbows, touch your fingertips to your shoulders. Just a few rounds like this. Nothing too strenuous, just getting joints warm and open. And bring your fingertips to touch your shoulders. And now start really wide circles with your elbows. Doesn't matter which direction, we'll get both, so you go where it feels natural. As you move, bring your focus back to your breath. If you've been in any of my classes, you'll remember that I cue breath first and foremost. So whatever movements we make, whatever strenuous activity is going on, the focus is always breath first. And go ahead and change directions with your elbows. Things should be getting pretty warm by now. Stay for just a couple more. Nice. On inhale, reach your arms out wide. Roll your shoulders back and open. Bring your chest forward and up. And then relax everything down. Give it all a shake. And start some really gentle rolls with your head. Really gentle to start. Just down and around. Go ahead and change directions. Right, start to come back to center and start some rolling back with your shoulders up toward your ears, shoulder blades together, and then draw them down and around. Again, the focus here being to the breath. Go ahead and change direction. See how wide you can make these circles. Doesn't matter how fast you go, it's not meant to be strenuous, just enough effort to warm things up and get loose. 
It's just one more round. And then relax them down. Maybe a gentle shake. Bring your arms out to your sides, but cactus your arms this time. So bend your elbows, fingertips up high, and see about drawing your elbows back behind you. Chest comes forward, maybe even look up high. One inhale to peel open. The exhale, press your forearms together in front of you. Round through your upper back, shoulder blades apart. Again, inhale, cactus your arms, reach them back. Exhale, press your forearms together, shoulder blades apart. And once more, inhale, open up. Exhale to press, elbows to fingertips, all together. Nice, release, clasp your hands at your low back. Go ahead and adjust for you. Clasp your hands at your low back, roll your shoulder blades all the way down your back. Reach your hands down and away toward your feet, and maybe look up high, just a couple breaths here. Opening the tops of the chest, backs and shoulders, everything up. One more inhale like this. Exhale, release, give everything a gentle shake. Nice. Now, if you're in a cross-legged position, that can be good for this next one. Even shins and knees can be okay. Maybe you'd like to switch to cross-legged if it feels okay for your knees and your hips. But if not, whatever position you're sitting in, you will adapt with. I prefer to sit up on something that allows the hips to be slightly elevated relative to the knees and it's a little bit easier to sit up tall. So if that's what's calling for you, then go ahead and go there. On an inhale, get really tall. On the exhale, twist out to the left, your right hand to the outside of your left knee, left hand behind. And keep twisting really gently through your upper, upper thoracic spine, your rib cage, twist across, draw your low belly in. Just a few breaths, each inhale to lengthen, each exhale, twist. And then gently back through center. Just a moment to let things settle. And then take the other side. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist across. One hand to the outside of the opposite leg. One hand behind to support. Each inhale, lengthen. Each exhale, twist. Gently back through center. Just a moment to move and wiggle a little bit. Let things recoil. Let the spine relax. Nice. Now, sitting up tall. On an inhale, find a little length in your spine. Draw your low belly in. Start to lean forward. Now, for a lot of us, this means the end of your motion is here. Or maybe even here. Tight hips, tight knees, things we don't often think about. That's A-OK. -okay. You just go there, right to the end of your range of motion and breathe. And gently release up and out. Switch the cross of your legs if they're crossed. And if not, just take another round just as you are. Right. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, start to fold forward just enough to find a gentle stretch. And then gently lift back up and out. Remove any props you may be sitting on. And take your legs out long in front of you. And root down into your heels and your sit bones. That may mean pulling out the bits between and underneath your sit bones. We don't need to go there. You know what I'm talking about. Keep flexing your toes back toward you. Really strong legs, strong calves, quads, hamstrings. Sit up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Gentle fold forward. And wherever you go is okay. It's your practice. You stay right there at the end of the range of motion and breathe. And 
and start to release your shoulders down. Let your head hang down around through your back. Start to lift up and out. Walk your hands behind you. Plant your hands, palm face down, fingertips forward. And just a little weight back there and start to move side to side. This can be a gentle wrist opener. And just a little side to side movement. Nothing too strenuous. I start to come back up tall. Flex your toes back toward you. And then do just the opposite. Point them away. Press down with your heels. Strong quads. And bring them on back. And point them away. Just a few rounds back and forth just like this. Again, the focus is in the breath. As you move. And take your heels slightly wider. Turn both sets of toes outward. It's going to create a little external rotation in your thigh bones and the knees and then point your toes away, turn both sets of toes inward and keep going like this, big wide circles around. It's waking up all the joints in the feet and the ankles, even to your knees. And then go ahead and change directions with your circles. Just one more, and then gently release, give everything a shake. Bring your right knee in toward your chest. Clasp your hands around, give a squeeze in there. Work it sitting up tall, bring your chest forward, shoulder blades back. Nice, now see if you can release the knee, keep it in, and then point your toes away, touch your heel down. Nice, just like that, bring the knee back in, give it a squeeze, sit up tall. Exhale, leg long. Again, inhale, bring it in, give a squeeze, and point away. And just a couple more moving like that. It's getting into your hip, into your right knee. And take it long, give that all a shake, maybe a little gentle pounding on the ligaments and your muscles, whatever's going to feel good here. And begin to take the other side. Left knee in, give a squeeze around. First one, sit up really tall, bring your knee in. And gently release, touch your left heel down, straighten out the leg. Bring it back in and take it long. Just a few more moving like this. Nice. Let it go long. Give a pound, give a shake. And then come over to your hands and knees. Tabletop position. And set, set your hips back toward your heels in a child's pose. And relax down into your knees. Relax your hips back. Relax your torso forward. After some gentle active movements, activation, and getting things warm. Now you set back into your hips. This is going to let everything be really passive. Stretch tops of the ankles into your knees, into your hips, into the lower part of your torso, and your shoulders open, reaching your hands forward. And just stay for a few breaths here. Each inhale, allow your belly and chest to expand between your thighs. Each exhale, become a little bit softer in your shoulders and hips. Start to lift yourself up into a tabletop and come to a seat, just like we started. Now from here, all the joints have been worked, gotten some blood pumping from the crown of your head all the way down through your fingertips and your toes. And whether you're using this 
as a warm-up to do a yoga practice or weightlifting or running or swimming or whatever it is that you do can be really helpful to get everything moving. Or if you're just using this as a 15 minute break from sitting at the computer answering emails, anything helps. Just a little bit of movement, just getting into the joints, getting the blood flowing. And remember, in my practice always focuses to the breath. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, breath is home. Wonderful. So thanks for joining. Uh, I'm gonna have more videos up soon from Savvy Health and Wellness. My name is Bennett. Namaste.